Hello everyone. Say, you are lost in a forest and suddenly see a bear. In such dangerous situation, you have two options left. First is to fight with the bear and second is to run away. The second one seems better option, right? But in such tense and extreme situation, the body needs some changes to meet the demand of the situation. Here, hormones come into effect. The nervous system cannot reach every cell, but hormone can. A hormone called adrenaline that is secreted by adrenal glands sends chemical signal to different tissues of the body to make critical temporary changes. For example, the heart beats faster to supply more oxygen to the muscles. The blood to the digestive system and skin is reduced due to contraction of muscles around small arteries in these organs. This diverts the blood to our skeletal muscles for faster movement. The breathing rate increases for more supply of oxygen. All these together make you ready to deal with the crisis. Just like in plants, hormones control many processes in human body through chemical signals. We already know that hormone glands are ductless endocrine glands which means hormone directly passes into the blood after secretion. The hormones control many vital processes. Do you know why people suffer from diabetes? The pancreas produce hormone insulin. If pancreas do not produce the hormone insulin in sufficient quantities, then people become diabetic. This is because insulin signals the liver to take up glucose and store it as glycogen. Just like the growth in plant is controlled by hormones, our growth is controlled by hormones too, directly or indirectly. For example, thyroxine that is secreted by thyroid gland regulates carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism in the body so as to provide the best balance for growth. And hence, we should use iodine salt because iodine is necessary for production of this hormone. On the other hand, somatotrophin that is secreted by pituitary gland in brain controls our growth directly. Deficiency of somatotrophin may lead to dwarfism and more secretion of this hormone makes you very tall. And we all know about the dramatic changes in our body which occurs in puberty. These changes associated with puberty are because of the secretion of testosterone by testes in male and secretion of estrogen by the ovaries in females. So we see the nervous system manages one type of coordination by maintaining, communicating with the environment and managing responses to the external stimuli using electrical signal. The hormones manage another type of coordination by managing different processes which are critical for growth, reproduction, survival etc. by issuing chemical signals. Hence, the hormones are called chemical messengers. That's all for now. Bye-bye.